Okay, now we want to interpret price elasticity of demand. Okay, what does it mean for something to be price elastic? And what does it mean for a product to be price inelastic? Okay, so these are the issues we're going to look at in this little video. Okay, so if we want to start with something that is price elastic, you should know by now what it looks like. If, if a price elasticity of demand is, let's say, minus 1.1 or minus 2.3 or minus 6.8, then we take the absolute values. It's 1.1, that's 2.3, that is 6.8, right? So we said that this is price elastic. In other words, the percentage change in price will be less than the percentage change in quantity demanded. Okay? This is the important bit here, price elastic. Small change in price will lead to a big change in quantity demanded. Right? So, we could, for example, take the 2.3 figure. Okay? Follow this 2.3 figure, what does that mean? Well, essentially, we simply say, if we increase price by 1%, we will decrease quantity demanded by 2.3%, right? Notice opposite direction, increase price, decrease quantity demanded because of the law of demand, right? Thus, if we decide to lower the price by 1%, this will increase quantity demanded by 2.3%. And, and you can multiply. If this is 10%, this will be 23%. Okay. Again, the change in price will be smaller than the change in quantity demanded. This product is very price elastic. It's very sensitive to a change in price. Okay, so, we'll put this away somewhere. No idea what happened there, but okay. We just move that there. Now we look at something that is price inelastic. If the price elasticity of demand happens to be, I don't know, minus 0 0.7, minus 0 0.05, for example. And we just take the absolute values. Okay. And we say that this is price inelastic. Okay, the percentage change in price will be greater than the percentage change in quantity demanded. Right? So this product doesn't react very much to a change in price. Right? If you take the 0 0.7 for example, then we say an increase in price by 0.7%. Sorry, uh, an increase in price by 1% will lead to a decrease in quantity demanded of 0.7%. Okay, and the opposite, because it's the law of demand, if we reduce price by 1%, it will increase quantity demanded by 0.7%. Again, opposite directions, law of demand. Again, you can multiply that. If this was 10%, this would be 7%. Okay. I'll move that somewhere. Right? So, essentially, if in absolute terms, the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1%, then the percentage change in price is less than the percentage change in quantity demanded, price elastic. If the price elasticity of demand is less than 1 in absolute terms, then the percentage change in price is greater than the percentage change in quantity demanded, and this is price inelastic. Okay? If the price elasticity of demand is equal to 1, which really means 
again this is all absolute terms okay, so minus 1 right minus 1 then here you have the percentage change in price is equal to the percentage change in quantity demanded and this is unitary elastic and that's about it